Yo, what is good all you funnel hackers? Today, what we're gonna go over is the difference between bid cap, cost cap, target cap, and lowest cost, and when you should be using each individual uh, bidding strategy. So let's get straight into this video. So, everybody kind of knows what the lowest cost is, um, but a couple of pieces of information you should know about lowest cost. So what you're gonna be seeing with lowest cost, whereas the Y axis is the cost per acquisition, CPA, and the X axis is the budget, you're typically gonna see a linear type of graph, whereas it gets the, the, the easy stragglers at first, um, over here, X is the occurrence of each event, and you're gonna start seeing the cost per acquisition slowly rise as the as time progresses okay that's what kind of starts that so most people don't uh, you can most people start out with the lowest cost but i usually what i do is i start out with the lowest cost to get my cost per acquisition kind of figure out my number's sake and then I move on to some sort of a, a bidding a controlling strategy so let's get let's go over that really quick so this is the lowest cost over here All right. All right, the next one that we have is, let's go over target cost. So how target costs work is it, it aims to get your conversions, your events at a certain goal. So let's say you put your um, bidding strategy at $30, at $30. You're gonna see, uh, whereas X is the occurrence of each event, you're gonna see it try to aim specifically for this $30 and pretty much break it at just this $30. So you're gonna see uh, acquisitions around something like this. Sometimes you might even get a straggler, might want to go down here, might want to go over here. And um, pretty much what it tries to aim to do, what the algorithm aims to do, is literally just keep a, um, a straight path uh, throughout the entire thing, trying to keep the target down. And what you usually see with this, when I test this out, is a lot of times you will see um, stragglers like this, ruining your, um, ruining your average, pretty much. And usually what happens is I see the... I see these strikers mainly on the higher end. So what I see is the average is usually on the higher end of your budget that you have. That just happens when I test it. So pretty much the benefit behind using a target cost is knowing exactly what you're going to spend, but you could be getting results at a lot cheaper rate. And a lot of times, um, a lot of times the, the conversion event, what I found, like I said, will be a lot significantly higher. And like I said, this is the best for getting consistent leads, consistent acquisition, consistent events. The next thing we're going to go over is cost cap over here. Now, cost cap is it's actually a pretty cool one. Uh, I mostly try to stick with cost cap or bid cap, depending on the situation. Mainly cost cap, to be honest. So let's go over that. What cost cap aims to do is to get the most results possible while staying under the actual cost. So pretty much how cost cap works is it controls the audience, whereas the bid cap controls the actual results, the cost cap controls the audience. So when you see this running, what you would typically see is, let's say you have your budget set at $30, and let's say the algorithm, the, we've already spent $25, and you've got no schedules, no conversions, as the, as it continues to reach $30, the actual reach of where the ads go to will start to shrink. So try to keep it under below $30. Whereas when you're using bid cap, if the algorithm sees that potentially you won't get any schedules, it won't even spend the money. So this is result based, this is more um, audience based. So on a graph here, what you would probably be seeing is you would see uh, occurrences or events kind of go somewhere around here. You see them go a little bit above, okay? And cost cap is kind of the best for, let's say you want, you'd say it's kind of at the end of the year, or maybe it's during a holiday when you realize that you might not get a lot of acquisitions, you might not get a lot of schedules, but you still want to put some money out there, you still want to be kind of be spending, and you still want to get some acquisitions, um, and you want to try it out. 
Uh, this is the best for when you don't want to monitor it so heavily and you want to still try to get those schedules out there. So now BidCap controls the amount of money you want to spend for people to see your ad. So what it does is it runs its algorithm and it sees, it, it kind of gets a brief understanding if people will um, convert on that ad. And if it thinks, if the algorithm thinks that people won't convert, it won't spend your money at all. So what you're going to be seeing a lot of uh, these, uh, these acquisitions is it will be pretty much under your actual budget here. You see them over here, you see them over here. And this is pretty much just best for controlling the overall bid in the auction, okay? So when will you use each of those occasions? Well, let's say you're a new business, you're just hopping into the field, all right? You don't know your typical cost for acquisition. You don't know your typical uh, schedule, how much that will cost. I would lean more towards the lowest cost, just so you can get a brief understanding of how much it will cost you to convert some clients into some events. Next thing, um, let's say that you are, you're running your business, it's kind of the end of the year, and you still want to get some acquisitions out, but you don't think a lot of people are going to spend money out. Um, and you're, you're kind of busy with other things. You don't want to monitor it so heavily. I would definitely go with a cost cap. Let's say you have a certain budget. Let's say you are uh, drop shipping out there, okay? And in order for you to make profit, you need, in order for you to make profit on your drop shipping product, each each purchase needs to be specifically at 50 bucks because let's say the actual price of everything was maybe 60 bucks, okay? You want to make $10 profit and everything. Uh, I would use target costs. So you can specifically keep uh, so you specifically keep your purchases at one goal. You have a, you have a great estimate of where each cost, each, each purchase will be at. Uh, you have a pretty, this is pretty much more goal-oriented. Goal For the cost, BidCap, I will use that in coaches and consultants because it would run its algorithm based upon the previous data that you gave it. So if I were to run traffic campaigns before um, and now I'm trying to run a conversion campaign, based upon those traffic campaigns, it would, the, the algorithm would gain a good understanding on if it would actually convert uh, with these audiences and based upon that it will send out these ads to these certain audiences depending on which one's more likely to convert so bid cap I would use when I'm not so sure if I don't want to spend a lot of money I'm not so sure that it will convert and I want to make I want a Facebook's algorithm to kind of tell me if I should be spending money on this case or if I should be spending money in this case okay so that's pretty much it. That's cost cap. That's bid cap. That's target cost. That's uh, lowest cost. Like I said, target cost right now because it doesn't work that amazingly. Because a lot of times you do see uh, the cost go up on this. They're kind of disbanding it from the actual um, bidding strategies. And really quick, one quick fact, one quick secret that when you're doing all this, that you're definitely going to want to know is that when you're running all these campaigns. When you're running all these campaigns, let's say you want, let's say you, you let's say you want the budget to be thirty dollars. You're gonna want to double that. So let's say thirty. Let's make you want to make the budget sixty, especially when you're just starting off. You want to make the budget sixty. This way, or at least sixty, or around slash fifty. Just so you give the algorithm enough, enough room to play around with and to kind of um, judge. Otherwise, especially if you're using a bid cap, let's say you're using bid cap, especially here, and you made the budget $30. Um, it's, it's not going to send those ads out at all. So what I would recommend is I would recommend boosting that to around maybe $40 or even $50 just so that I actually spend some money and actually give you some results. So with any of these campaigns, increase that budget a little bit. If it's $30, make it $40 or $50, okay? So just increase it a little bit. Um, and yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you learned something today. I hope this can be very beneficial in your business. If so, let me know. If you have any questions, always shoot me a message. Thank you, guys. Talk later. Peace out.